Club Shay Shay began streaming. The reactions from it have been similar to Cat Williams' own interview on the same platform about a month earlier. If fans were wondering what Cat's thoughts were on Monique's interview, it's safe to say he's in full support of the Oscar-winning actress because he invited her to open up for him on his current stand-up tour, The Dark Matter Tour. On Thursday, via Instagram, Cat would even share a poster that's a parody of the Marvel's Avengers Civil War. The new title reads, Deaf Comedy Jam Civil War, with several comedians that were mentioned in both his and Monique's most recent interviews. The comedians included Cedric the Entertainer, Faze on Love, Earthquake, Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Ricky Smiley with Cat and Monique as themselves. Other comedians that appear in the photo are Dave Chappelle, D. Ray Davis, Gary Owen, and Corey Holcomb. Yeah. Of course, the Civil War references the riff that has been created as a result of the recent Club Shay Shay interviews. In addition to that, Cat would also share a quote hey, from... Man, is Corey Holcomb on tour with Cat Williams too? Is, I like that's what I'm curious about. Is Corey Holcomb because you know I like Corey Holcomb. This is from Comedy Hype News. Comedy Hype uh, is their YouTube channel, and I'm just reviewing this uh, segment about uh, Cat Williams sharing his opinion on Monique's first interview with Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp. Let's go ahead and continue on with the thumbs up button. My spiritual Instagram page. Now, according to the post, the quote comes from the universe: "What belongs to you will simply find you." Just relax, enjoy your coffee, and co-create with me. This is assumed to be in reference to Monique revealing that she will now be joining Kat on his Dark Matter tour for a few days. And I want to tell y'all about my twin brother, Cat Williams, baby. I'm going to be joining my brother, my twin brother, Cat Williams, on the Dark Matter tour. We are excited. I cannot wait to see y'all, Connecticut. I see y'all tomorrow night with our brother, Monique would then reveal this information while going live on Instagram, along her husband Sidney Hiss, where the two would mainly address Dio Hughley. The rivalry would be reignited after the Queen of Comedy made an appearance on Club Shay Shay. Know what else you won't see Monique doing? Telling jokes. If she just spent as much time writing her Netflix special as she did complaining about not having one, it wouldn't have been trash. Because that's what Monique does. She complains and she has grievances. All you do is talk about your grievances and who did you wrong. It's sad. There's an old adage that said you can't buy love. It's a shame, Monique, that you probably always will have to. Oh, wow. With Monique now joining the Dark Matter tour along with Mark Curry and Kevin Hart's ex, Tori Hart, Cat Williams has assembled a group of comedians who may have... He went in on Monique. He ain't on front. But hey, from what I guess she did go in, I, I don't know. I heard she said something about his daughter and a uh, S assault situation. You got to say that on YouTube, but uh, it's a shame that our comedians is beefing like this. Um, from what I heard, I heard Monique jokes ain't really all that good. I saw her Netflix special. It was okay. It was okay. Um, it could have been better. I think Monique could have been funny, funnier. You know what I'm saying? I think she got it in her. Cause she, she, Monique used to be real, real funny, but her last, I ain't gonna front the last Netflix thing. It was, it was okay. It was, she was trying to go like the Dave Chappelle route where he tells in like the Ali Sadiq route. Even Marlon Wayans d did it on his last special where they tell these long stories and within the story, they make little jokes while they're telling the story. It's not really like a joke, joke, joke. In different situations, like most comedians do, they tell this long story, and then in the story they put little jokes in between the story. You know, they make they make the story funny. And uh, the only people that I think they can do that is Dave Chappelle and Ali Sadiq. Anyway, let me hit the thumbs up button, guys. Let's continue on. Have shared enemies within the industry, and it looks like it will make for a great comedy show. Now, not too long ago, TMZ would catch up with Mark Curry, who stated he still never received apology from Steve Harvey for allegedly stealing one of his jokes. Did you ever get an apology? Did never you ever... got an apology from Steve. He never said anything on the Dark Matter tour. Cat Williams, we got new jokes. So if he still want to keep them jokes, man. He still uses us. To... He probably does. He probably <laughs> does, man. But we moved on. I got new jokes. That's what I do. I write every day, baby. 
So what are you guys' thoughts about Cat Williams inviting Monique to go on tour with him? And what does your make of all this back and forth between comedians that we grew up and love? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. Plus, save the day for the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to your YouTube channel. And do you own a business or brand that needs some extra spotlight? Request a membership at thehypemarket.com and our 900000 Anyway, um, have some comedy hype. Comedyhype.com. Y'all can check them out. Um, I think that, uh, um, I don't know. I would like to see them. I'd like to see the, uh, Civil War comedy tour. Have they been to LA yet? I'm pretty, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure if he hasn't been to LA yet, he's going to be in LA. I got to check the dates on his, on his, uh, on his Instagram, Cat Williams, the dark, it's called the dark matter tour. So. I didn't know Corey Holcomb was on the tour. Maybe he only doing a couple dates. Maybe he just adding comedians. You know what I'm saying? For what it looked like, it's just, it's not really a permanent set of comedians. He switches them out here and there. Because what he said was, uh, Monique got a couple of dates. So I, I'm thinking she's not doing the whole, um, she's not doing the whole tour. So maybe that's what it is with Corey Holcomb. He's only doing a couple of days we can't. Anyway, what do y'all think about this video, man? Leave your comments and subscribe to Charles and Israel. Appreciate it.